Did he ever say anything in the world but, I will? Or did he ever say, I cannot heal you because it is not the will of God? Or, I cannot heal you because you are being purified by this sickness? Or, I cannot heal you because you are glorifying God in this sickness? There is no such instance in the book. On the other hand, we are told, He healed all that came to Him. Never a soul ever applied to God for salvation or healing that Jesus did not save and heal. Did you ever think what calamity it might have been if a man had come to Jesus once and said, Lord, save me, and the Lord had said, No, I cannot save you? Every man forevermore would have a question mark as to whether or not God would save him. There would not be a universal confidence as there is today. Suppose Jesus had ever said to a sick man, No, I cannot heal you. You would have the same doubts about healing. The world would have settled back and said, Well, it may be God's will to heal that man or that woman, but I do not know whether or not it is His will to heal me. Jesus Christ did not leave us in doubt about God's will, but when the church lost her faith in God, she began to teach the people that maybe it was not God's will to heal them. So the church introduced the phrase, If it be thy will, concerning healing. But Jesus healed all that came to him. Matthew 4, verse 23. Luke 9, verse 6, Luke 9, verse 11. Notice what it says in Isaiah 35. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb shall sing. Salvation and healing connected. Thank you for listening to this sample. The full-length audiobook may be purchased exclusively at audible.com, amazon.com, or the iTunes store. For additional Christian audiobooks or to learn how we can narrate your own book, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard.